हे हेलो भाई और वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक ग्रंथा सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑन द लूड एनर व्हिच इज द पार्ट नंबर 4 फॉर द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस सेशंस सो इफ एनीवन मिस द प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशंस फॉर द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन देन यू कैन गो एंड वॉच अंडर द लूड एनर प्लेलिस्ट एंड आल्सो इफ एनीवन वांट टू जॉइन द लाइव मॉक सेशन प्रैक्टिस एक्टिविटी आई विल शेयर द लिंक ऑन द टेलीग्राम चैनल यू कैन जॉइन दैट ग्रुप एंड यू कैन अपडेट मी देयर डिटेल्स okay let's start the uh, video okay so before i will move on uh, i have request to each and everyone please share that video to your colleague and friend so everyone can get the uh, benefits about the uh, learning process uh, let's see the first question is like uh, if suppose i want to achieve the 3600 hits per hour and the given is the think time and pacing value is given and we need to find out the users okay so there is a very simple question those are the questions mostly the entrepreneur ask under the barcode modeling related things so the simple little formula is like the number of users equal to transactions per second multiply by the think time plus response time plus spacing so the response time is nothing like it is the end to end response time like starting from the one to starting from the end uh, the response time is known as the end to end response time and think time pacing you already uh, knows so let's see that question so there it is given the 3600 transactions per hour okay so that means the tpg is given 3600 and in the formula we need to use the tps like the transactions per second so we need to divide 3600 uh, divided by 16 into 60 yani 3600 which will be the one so the number of user will be one tps into think time and pacing is given for us is a 60 and response time if nothing is given we can consider as a zero so the number of user will become there 60 okay now move on the next question okay so what is given on the next question there is a 800 user okay and user want to achieve 8000 transactions per hour okay what are the other data given 90 second end to end response time is given and 100 times the think time is mentioned now we need to find out the pacing value it is a very simple question uh, what you need to do we need to use the same formula number of user equal to tps into think time plus response time plus pacing so here you can see the tps is given 8000 okay which we will convert into the second so that will become as a 8000 divided by 3600 that will be the near about 2.2 okay now the user is equal to user is given 800 so 800 equal to tps and ki 2.2 multiply by the think time is given as 110 and the response time is given is 90 uh, sorry uh, think time is given 110 and the response time is given 90 and plus pacing so there if you will calculate the pacing will become approximate 163.63 value okay so that the way you can tell to your panel uh, that questions let's move on the next question okay so that is also so much confusing questions for the people to understand what is the concurrent user and what is the simultaneous user okay let's clear that out so what is the concurrent user so when the people are going to hit the application the multiple times but they are performing the different different actions in the same time okay so like for example uh, you are going to search the flight okay and you are going to book the flight also you are searching the uh, flight status also so that means in the multiple users are access the application is going perform and they are performing the different different actions in the same time that is known as a concurrent user but if you go on the simultaneous user so on the simultaneous user the number of user will be multiple access for this application but they are performing the same action at the same time so that means for for example there is a 10 user okay so that all the 10 user is going to search the flight okay but if you go the concurrent user the all the 10 users is going to do the different different activity in the same time one user will be do the flight flight search one can be check the status of the pnr one can uh, uh, book the flight on that way is going as under the concurrent user let's move the next question okay so that is also very common and which we are getting on the script That is, what is the difference between 401 unauthorized error or what 403 a forbidden error? Okay, let's understand that very carefully. So, what is an unauthorized user? Unauthorized by the name also you can get like 
if you have no access of the application like if your credential is invalid like server is not able to identify you like whenever you are going to enter the credential it is throwing the error okay like your credential is not proper your credential is incorrect so on that case you will get the 401 error on your script also okay and what is the forbidden error so forbidden error is nothing like server are able to identify your credential is also fine but you don't have the access of the requested resource what is the mean so here i just written the example like if suppose you have logged in the application with the current credential but you try to access the admin page without admin right like you are trying to do login with something different and you are getting the some different page that is known as a forbidden page okay now let's move on the uh, last question okay which is also the most most important question like how can we identify how can we decide the number of load generators required for your testing okay so that is very simple what you can do you can uh, do the like very small type of the test like for 5 minute or 10 minute uh, test execution you can do and accordingly you can calculate your cpu utilization or memory utilization how it is going on and with respect to that you can use the below formula so for example suppose there is a 5 to 10 users you given and uh, you got like uh, for 5 minute the 10 user is taking the 200 mb uh, consumption for the memory side so there you can use that formula like number of users equal to 75 percent of total memory of lg and memory reserved for os okay and divided by the memory utilized by the one user so once once you will calculate that you can uh, get easily idea okay so uh, uh, thank you so much uh, to watching that video and uh, please share that video to your friend and colleagues and if anyone miss the old sessions you can go and watch it okay let's will uh, meet on the next video session and uh, uh, i hope now that was the 23rd third video so hopefully uh, coming three videos will be on also the load runner then the load runner uh, tutorial will be end and we will move on the geometer level on advance there already the some tutorials is available on the gmeter uh, we need to explore in the advanced level okay so thank you so much thanks to all